My name is Yasushi Miyazaki from Nagasaki University, Japan. I would like to talk about the clinical impact of DDX41 germline mutation on the risk of developing MDS. DDX41 is a gene encoding RNA helicase called dead box RNA helicase 41. The fourth WHO classification of hematopoietic neoplasms was revised in 2017, and a new category named myeloid neoplasms with germline predisposition was added. This category includes inherited bone marrow failure and predisposition to myeloid neoplasms characterized by the presence of certain germline mutations. Germline mutation of DDX41 was first reported in 2015, and somatic mutations of this gene also exist. It is reported that the onset of myeloid neoplasms with germline DDX41 mutation is relatively late, with median age of 62. And most of the patients do not show any abnormality until the onset of hematological disorders. In this ASH 2020 meeting, Dr. Makishima in Professor Ogawa's group from Kyoto University, Japan, reported data from large number of patients with myeloid neoplasms focusing on DDX41 mutations. The aim of their study were to elucidate the disease risks due to DDX41, geographical features of its mutation, and clinical impact of germline and somatic DDX41 mutations. They analyzed 5,617 patients with myeloid neoplasms from seven different areas, such as United States, Germany, Italy, Japan, so on. There were 168 somatic mutations and 218 germline variants. Among them, 119 cases had both germline and somatic changes. By comparing with more than 13,000 healthy donors' data, they found disease related variants of DDX41, including two truncating and four non-truncating variants. These variants were associated with the presence of second hit mutations. Based on these data, Dr. Makishima defined pathogenic germline mutations, including truncating variants with second hit and non-truncating variants located in the functional domains. There are 190 cases having pathogenic germline mutations. 3.4% of more than 5,000 cases. Interestingly, germline mutations had ethnic distribution. For example, D140 frame shift was found in United States and Sweden, but most A500 frame shift was identified among Japanese patients. In contrast, somatic mutation like R525H, the most frequent one, was found all ethnic groups tested. These mutations were enriched in MDS and AML among myeloid neoplasms, and second hits were more frequent in higher risk MDS and secondary AML. They also analyzed the impact of these mutations on survival and found that truncating mutation with somatic mutations showed aggressive phenotype with poor prognosis. This is the largest study of DDX41 among myeloid neoplasms. Considering that there are several reports demonstrating 
Sibirin donor derived myeloid neoplasms after allogenic stem cell transplantation for patients with TDX41 mutation. Their data will be very useful when we see MDS and AML patients to decide treatment strategy, including the indication of hematopoietic stem cell transplantation and donor selection. Precise analysis for DDX41 determining the presence of germline and somatic mutations would be important information for clinic in the future.